at the rain continuing here um, Saturday and Sunday. Alex? All right, Kim, of course, we're trying to show you that video there of Dr. Greg Forbes describing that tornado uh, from 90 years ago. So let's get you that right video, something you don't want to miss. The Tri-State Tornado, March 18, 1925, one of the most infamous and destructive in United States history, originally said to have carved out a 219-mile path, killing 695 people. Some recent research suggests that those numbers have changed just a little bit, and it was really a family of tornadoes. The tornado at this time was just ahead of that low there in southern Illinois, running along that red warm front area. Let's take a look at the globe. We'll follow its entire track. The original tornado was thought to have started near Ellington, Missouri. Now the main track is thought to have started in Madison County, Missouri, and went all the way 174 miles, three and three quarters hours to Pike County, Indiana, at an average speed of about 59 miles per hour, sometimes faster. F5 intensity on the original Fujita scale, as strong as it gets. Southeast Missouri, by that time it was cranking multiple funnels at times, a mile wide or more, most of the path. In Gorham, Illinois, 100% destroyed and much the same that can be said of Murfreesboro, DeSoto, West Franklin, in a, that 40 minute period, killing 541 people. Parrish, Illinois, for example, 90% destroyed, then moved into Indiana, continuing along, 100% of Griffin destroyed. Princeton, Indiana, partly destroyed, and then it began to weaken and finally ended in Pike County, Indiana. But not before the damage was done, it was part of a family of tornadoes, all told, killing 695 people. And actually, there was a small outbreak of additional tornadoes, perhaps about 10 in total. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Forbes. Well, wait until you see some of the pictures from the Northern Lights overnight. Incredible sights from the Royal Borealis.